This morning we are talking health with Dr. Scott Ackerman. There's a new study that shows that women who have given birth may have an increased risk of breast cancer that continues for up to 23 years after their last child is born. Joining me now to break down this new study is Dr. Scott Ackerman. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. being here. Really, now it's something else that we moms <laughs> have to worry about. This is only a slight risk though, right? Let's put it in perspective. Right, we've been studying the effects of pregnancy and breast cancer <clears throat> for many years. And one thing we've seen is that um, in the few years after a woman gives birth, there's a little bit of an uptick as far as her risk of developing breast cancer. Um, and that uptick just lasts for maybe five or 10 years, or now we see up to maybe 23 years uh, that, that, that lasts, but it's just a slight increased risk over the general population of women. For instance, in the first five years after you have breast, after you have deliver a baby, you have maybe a, a 2.1% or 2.2% risk of developing breast cancer. That's, a, but that's compared to a woman who is not given birth mm. in that same period, having a, maybe a 1.9% risk. So it's very, very low numbers, and it's just a slight increase. Risk. What is it, though, about having given birth then that increase our, increases our risk? So we know that childbirth and having childbirth at a, at a young age, having more children, actually decreases a woman's risk of, of getting breast cancer in her lifetime. But in those short years after childbirth, there's a little bit increased risk, and, and it's postulated that the reason is that the hormones associated mm -hmm. with childbirth, uh, uh, during the, not just the pregnancy, but during birth itself, all those hormones are causing, the, uh, are, are causing havoc, if you will, in the breast. Your breasts, your breasts enlarge during pregnancy, um, and uh, there's hormones that are stimulating the breast tissues, and so that, that's what we think mm -hmm. causes that slight increased risk. Is age a factor also? You know, we, we're seeing more and more women who are getting pregnant later in life. Does that increase their risk as well? So that's a, that's a whole different thing. So one thing we just talked about is the slight increased risk of developing, developing breast cancer in the few years after you delivered a baby. But age at first childbirth is very much related to your risk of developing breast mm. cancer. We know that women who have their first child at a young age or have multiple children have a lower lifetime risk of breast cancer as compared with women who have never had children or who had their first child at a later age. And different studies have looked at different time periods. The old studies looked at women who had their first child below, uh, below, the, age of, um, uh, below the age of 21 compared to those over 29. Newer studies have looked at over 33 uh, uh, versus under 33. And there's no, <clears throat> there's no absolute cutoff. The, the bottom line is that the older you are when you have your first child, uh, the, incre the, the more risk that you have of developing breast cancer in your lifetime. And does breastfeeding play a role at all in decreasing <clears throat> or increasing your chances? Yeah, absolutely. Breastfeeding actually is protective. And breastfeeding has been shown to diminish, diminish a woman's risk of developing breast cancer. And studies have looked at breastfeeding for up to a year and have shown that that puts you at a lower risk of breast cancer than women who have not breastfed. Uh, so, and that's breastfeeding up to a year, because you do hear a lot of moms who, you know, take off of work and then they come back and they're just not able to kind of keep up with it. But that that, that risk decreases specifically if you've breastfed up to a year. No, no, I think... The, the, just in general. Yeah, oh, just in general, yeah. but the studies have looked at breastfeeding for a year, but, but breastfeeding for three months is better than nothing. And six months is better, than, better right. than three months, so there, it's a continuum. There's no absolute cutoff. So it's interesting, too, because we have talked previously, though, about the, the fact that um, having a full term, you know, going full term with your pregnancy, that th it can reduce your risk of other kinds of cancers also, can, can it? Right. We've you seen know, so it's kind of weighing, right, you know, this dec information. Decreased risk of endometrial cancer mm -hmm. as well. Thank you, Dr. Scott Ackerman. Thanks Thank for the you. information. Do appreciate it. And of course, if you missed any of our discussion, you could watch this entire interview later this morning on our website, newsforjax.com. Just look under the health section.